After installation, there will be three icons on the desktop. Auto login, Isaac me, launch icon, and an icon for creating new browser profiles. When you open the first browser profile, you will see that you need to enter your username and password in the extension. In order to enter them once, use the auto login option. Enter your login and pass and click log in. Now, every time you create a new browser profile, you will always be logged into the extension. Since only one fingerprint can be applied in one browser profile, the optimal way for creating profiles is the following one. Create a new browser profile, rename it as you want. For example, name it the same as the fingerprint you plan to create. To create a new print, press the Create new profile button in the extension. After that, you go to the account in the menu for creating new prints. Specify the parameters of the new fingerprint, Operating system, browser type, screen resolution, video card model. Now click Generate. Thereby you create a fingerprint based on the selected parameters. Enter proxy if necessary. Note, AXACME only supports IPv4 proxy. After entering the proxy, be sure to check it by clicking the Check Proxy button. Notice, if proxies are authorized via IP, then you don't need to check. SOX5 proxies work only with authorization by IP. You don't need to check them as well. If you work with a 911 proxy client, check the 911 box and specify the port address. The Advanced Mode menu allows you to set the fingerprint settings manually. For example, you can specify the user agent. Change the screen resolution, specify geolocation and download cookies in JSON or Netscape format. Now enter the name of the profile and click Save the fingerprint. The fingerprint was successfully saved. You can view and edit all of your fingerprint profiles in the Your Fingerprints tab. For example, if you want to disable proxy, simply move the Enable Proxy slider to the Off position and click Save. Note, if you used the HTTPS protocol, then the browser's scale will be set up according to your proxy. If you disable the proxy, then you need to change the GAO settings manually. As you can see, I have GAO of Brazil. To change the GAO, click Settings, then go to GAO Settings and set the GAO settings according to your data. If you want to quickly create a random profile, click the switch random profile and specify only the required screen resolution. Click generate and the fingerprint will be successfully created. If you want to create many fingerprints in one click, go to the mask and tab. In the name field, enter the fingerprint mask. All created fingerprints will appear with the prefix and the specified mask. In the quantity field, specify the required number of fingerprints, but not more than available on your subscription type. Specify all the screen resolution and video card model. Please note that all fingerprints will be created with the same screen resolution. If necessary, you can turn off the noises. We do not advise doing it, except in special cases of turning off the noise of canvas or fonts. In the cookies field, insert your cookies. If you have a separate cookie for each profile you create, just insert them line by line and each cookie will automatically be added to the profile. If the number of cookies is less than the number of created profiles, the remaining profile will be created without cookies. In the proxy field, you can also insert your proxies line by line. When creating many fingerprints, proxies will be rotated. In other words, if you create 10 fingerprints and you have only 5 proxies, Starting from the 6th fingerprint, the proxies will repeat. Anyway, the profiles have been successfully created and appeared in the list of fingerprints in your account.
Activating Google Mode, you automatically apply several additional settings to the Creative Fingerprint that will help you better work with Google Anti-Fraud System. For example, if you are going to register Gmail without an SMS verification, this is what you need. In the Google Mode, there is a more stable operation of some bookmakers and online stores, with which uh, there were some problems. Google Mode is also suitable for working with TikTok. Please note, when using this mode, the operation system in the fingerprint must match the operation system on your PC. To run a fingerprint, go to the extension and select the one you need in the drop-down list. Please note, after launching the profile once, it will be merged with the browser in which it was launched. Please note that after you have applied the fingerprint, you can stop it only by closing the browser. You can see the name of the running profile on the exact extension icon. To load cookies into the current fingerprint, click the cookies icon. A window for entering cookies will appear in front of you. Please note that in this window you can upload only JSON cookies. You can enter cookies as text or upload them with the text file with the Upload Cookies button. After that, click Important Cookies. Make sure your cookies have been accepted by AZACME. Wait for the notification that the cookies have been successfully loaded. For example, let's upload the file with Facebook cookies, Gmail, Yandex and TikTok ads. After we solve the notification about the successful upload of cookies, you can go to the websites. As you can see, all cookies are loaded. If an active session, synchronize your profile cookies in the cloud. Use Save Session for it. After it, the cookies go to the cloud. Now you can run the profile from your account on another PC. And all cookies and sessions will be restored. If proxies have been installed in the profile, they will also work with the profile. For example, We'll demonstrate how it works by loading cookies from the cloud on another clean browser. You can unload cookies in an already running profile by clicking the Copy your current cookies button. After that, open a text document and just paste the cookies as a text. If you know the login of another iZacMe user, you can also transfer any profile to him. In the dashboard menu, select the required profile or several profiles and send it to the specified login. If you entered an incorrect username, the system will inform you about an error. If the profile is successfully transferred, it will disappear from the list of available profiles. Let me remind you that if proxies were configured in the fingerprint, they will also go with the profile. In the dashboard menu, you can also select and transfer a group of fingerprints. You can also delete some fingerprints right here. If you change the parameters through the Advanced Settings menu in the current fingerprint, click Update Profile to initiate the changes. For example, I will change the browser screen resolution on the current fingerprint. As you can see, after clicking Update Profile, the resolution of the fingerprint has changed. Finally, the FB Tools button will provide you quick access to the necessary Facebook pages. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact us in Telegram at Isaac Misafford.